everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here my name is Kaylin and I'm kind of on a no buy and decluttering journey and today I'm going to declutter this like trolley that we have that's filled with kids craft supplies that my kids have just been dumping stuff in over the weekend and sometimes when we're using the things for homeworks as well it can just get swept up and shoved in it before dinner time to clear the table so I need to sort it out. Um, and I've been quite lazy about decluttering over the last week. Like I have done my wardrobe, but I feel like I need to go back and fold things better and put the winter stuff towards the front. And organizing my wardrobe is like a game for me anyway. Like it's fun playing with clothes, but this is more like something I dread. And if you can see something swinging in the background, it's my cat clock. Um, yes, so i'll just start with the top shelf this is a kid's sewing kit i got my kids these for christmas i think i love sewing and i wanted to start them young with even doing like simple repairs and my older daughter has actually kind of taught herself how to sew i haven't really had much input but she's really good at it and she has repaired clothes before that have been ripped and my younger daughter has suddenly got really interested in it and we were working on a doll's dress that we started to make together so I need to finish that with her and I feel like having it here is really handy but maybe I should move it to her room I'm not sure I'll think about that one this is just a sharpener which is handy for schoolwork um this is my teapot I know that it makes zero sense that it's over here because it doesn't go with anything else here I just don't know where else to put it because we have such limited space so and I like how it looks, so I feel like it looks pretty, like, sitting out, apart from the fact that my kids have now got pen on the lid because it's been sitting next to their pens. Um, so, yeah, let me know if you have any ideas about what I should do with that. I really hate that we have such limited cupboard space in the kitchen because I feel like we can't fit the basics in, never mind, like, the extras. So, yeah, I need to think about that one. What is this? White tack. I can put it back in the drawer with the rest of the white tack. My kids have just like obviously taken it out. This is a bookmark that my daughter made and I might declutter it. I don't think she would even notice it was gone. Um, this is a painting I did and it was just set there to dry. So I think I'll put it in the box in the cupboard with my other canvases and just kind of get it out of the way. It is a pumpkin latte, so it's like a seasonally kind of appropriate picture, but I don't think it's immediately evident that that's what it is. So I might put it away with the other paintings for now to create some space. These are stamp markers, my kids use. They've all just ended up kind of thrown in here instead of in the pen holder. So I think I'm going to organize that and put them in. I need to go through this actually and see what has run out and what is still working and just like organize the sections again. I did have it really organized recently where it was like all the pencils together, all the pens, but my kids have quickly undone that and this is just a hair clip I'm going to put in the hair basket. I don't really know what it's doing in here. Um, most of this stuff is probably still working and usable so I just need to go through that and test the pens and see if they're working and I'm not going to subject you to that because that would be the most boring thing in the world to watch like me going through. Does this pen work? Yes. Does this pen work? No. Um, so I'll do that whenever you're not watching. Um, this is a little container I got to put the kids paints in um, and it was just to make it a little bit more organized, even though I'm now against buying storage containers because I think it just creates more clutter. I don't even know what this is. It's like a mini bouncy ball. Why do things like this always end up in your house when you've got kids and you don't know where it came from or what its purpose is? Would they notice if I even removed it? And someone has used a like clay knife. Ignore the singing. It's my washing machine telling me it's finished. Um, and they've got paint all over it. I also might get rid of that because I feel like it's just going to encourage them to do it again and I would rather they sit down and use a paintbrush and do painting when they've told me that they're actually going to do painting. And somebody has just randomly stuck tape onto this as well, which I'm going to remove. Why are children so messy? Like, I know I'm not the best, but like, ugh, they just create so much like 
dirty mess like it's not just like untidy it's like gross some of it this isn't even bad compared to some of the messes that i've found um okay this is just a wrapper from a rubber so obviously that's going out this can go out these are face paints that clearly somebody has got hold of and mixed together and made a complete mess of and i'm going to declutter that because they're probably all muddy colored now anyway this is jewelry elastic which is running low but i'm going to put it in there like jewelry kit rather than throwing it out and why is it so hard to wind this also this is the one that's really hard to tie when you're making bracelets and stuff like i can never get it to stay put i did figure it out finally after looking it up but it's kind of a pain this is one of those things that i feel like takes up too much space and we really don't need it but my daughter loves it so i feel like if i get rid of it she'll act winded um they had string out which is usually kept in my art box in the cupboard but they were making you know that like cats cradles and learning little tricks with string and your hands and how you wrap it around your hands and you pull it and it just comes away very easily so we were looking those up the other day together and they were learning how to do them and some of them are really hard like i couldn't do them um and this is just more pens and pencils that have fallen out or been thrown in more likely some paint pens as well which can also go in the pen holder what is this this is one of those warranty things that belongs to my partner that i probably shouldn't get rid of but if i thought that he wouldn't notice i probably would but i won't um this? okay this is my daughter's painting i might i don't know whether to leave it out like this because it's colorful or if i should put it away with my canvases as well and sewing scissors which can go in the sewing kit and a random pearl bead thing and a walkie talkie it's also random um the hair clip which can also go in the hair basket and what's this a little card i got my daughter another warranty i'm gonna have to keep that even though I don't want to and that's all for the first shelf i also found this bracelet which has clearly been well looked after since it was attached to the back of the picture and a lot of their jewelry i find on the windowsill in our bathroom so it goes all rusty because it gets wet just sitting there and uh, yeah my kids are not good at taking care of jewelry at all which is why i wouldn't get them anything that's actually like expensive um, and no matter how many times I create like a jewellery box or container in their room, it, it strays from it and ends up in random places. I feel like the top shelf isn't too bad actually compared with the rest. The rest just looks so messy. This is a free activity pack that we got from a museum day where we were learning about the Second World War and it has like a ration book the girls can make themselves. It's been sitting here for weeks. My daughter still hasn't opened it. I actually keep giving it to her and being like, do this whenever she's telling me she's bored and she keeps setting it down again. So I think I'm going to get rid of this because it's been sitting there long enough and it's kind of taking up a lot of space. This is my budgeting diary thing planner i like the idea of it you can do your budgeting at the front and there's little wallets that are labeled for different categories the only problem is i don't use cash like ever so i never put money in it and i never would take think to take money out for a specific purchase because most of the things that we pay for that i budget for are bills that are set up to automatically come out of my account so if anybody knows like a way to make this useful if you don't tend to use cash feel free to offer suggestions or do you think it's a good idea to withdraw cash specifically to save in this rather than for all of the different categories i also tend to pay for my groceries online because we tend to just order a food shop that gets delivered to the house so there's no way to pay that in cash and um, so at the minute i feel like it's not really being used very much but i want to use it but maybe that's not a good enough reason to keep it. This is my, my other daughter actually did get out her World War pack and has done some colouring from it and 
I know she used a sticker that came with it but I'm gonna see if she's finished with that because I know for a fact she'll never look at it again if she's finished doing it and it's just taking up space so I'm gonna get rid of it if it's finished. This is just a notebook and I had to have some cookie to sustain me through this and um, we've also got a latte here for moral support and this is a lot of paper. This stresses me out because you can't just like grab it and see what it is immediately. You have to go through everything. So, what is this? Okay, that's instructions for the sofa. Do we need that? Because I'm not planning on dismantling it, but eventually maybe we will have to. Like in about 20 years when I'm finally ready to deal with getting a new sofa again. But is there any point? This is just like a game the kids were playing where they keep like a tally. Um, this also looks like, I'll leave this one because it's like a treasure hunt thing we've created. I don't think they'll notice if I get rid of that. They've been playing cafes, so they made a sign for it, so I'll keep that for them because it is a game they keep coming back to. This is something I find hard to get rid of for some reason because it's cute and they've put time into making it and they even coordinated the tape with it. I might move it into the box of like art to keep and then I can declutter it together at a later stage. This is just blank paper, which we have here for schoolwork, so it can go back. This is a piece of paper with scribbles on it, basically. So that can go out. This might have to go in the like box of artwork. I'm so bad about throwing out kids' artwork. Maybe that's not a terrible quality because I actually value the things that they make and like I appreciate the fact they've given them to me but it can become problematic whenever you hold on to everything because it just takes up so much space. This can go out. It's just another page with scribbles basically. More scribbles. This I don't think I can get rid of yet. Why is everything they make so cute and then like it just makes it impossible to get rid of it. And these are the menus that they made for their little cafe. And that's really cute. So I'll keep that with their sign. Um, this is another sign. I think they've made it so they can take it in turns with who owns the cafe. And then these are just the bit in there, just rubbish. So that can go in the paper bin. This is a clipboard that they got in the summer from, they went to a Cinemagic Festival where they were helping to pick the movies for the festival. They absolutely hated it, which was weird because I thought they would love it, but apparently it was too much work. And they were given this to do work on. One of them had it in their school bag for a while and I think they've brought it home, but I need to check with them to see if they need it still for school or if we should declutter that. This is a really good activity for whenever they say they're bored because and there's a random pencil case in here. Is that even usable? The zip's broken, so this can go out. Um, it's got like pages like this where it gives you prompts and then it lets them like come up with their own creative ideas within the prompts. So I'm definitely keeping that because it's handy for whenever they can't think of anything to do. These pens are paint markers that my boyfriend got for them. They're really good ones. They're like they kind of come out like acrylic paint and they have very vibrant colours. Um, so I'm going to hold on to those. This I know is used, although they have already broken the case for it. Uh, it is, if I could get it reassembled, like glittery watercolours. And I know for a fact they use these, so I'll hold on to them until they get to the stage where all the colours are mixed together because at the moment it still looks pretty new. These are stencils that they do use for art. I find it very difficult to get rid of art supplies and things because I know we do use them. Even if they're not being used all the time, they do get used. And these are some pens. They're the ones that I had in the cupboard during my clear out and I moved them over here so they could use them because I wasn't 
Um, and this is the little book I showed you two of the letters. I wonder if she has looked at it since I put it in there. I highly doubt it, but now and again, she and her sister will sit down and make them together. This is a cute little pug book. My daughter got this for me with her own money. So, and it was before we had a pug and I just thought it was so cute. And I'll definitely hold on to this. I need to put it somewhere though, so I remember to use it. Um, I don't ever know what to do with their little journal type things. Like I know they won these in the library for completing their reading cards and they like these little notebooks. There's still pages in them that are not used, so I'll hold on to those for them. But sometimes it gets hard because just like with keeping your own journals, you can't keep them all, or at least I don't because it would just be overwhelming. But when they have done that, whenever they have their own little notebooks and they're using them as diaries, like one, I don't really want to go through them because I feel like it's, even though they're young, it's like a privacy thing. And two, I can see that there's a lot of unused paper in it and it maybe I just need to put them more like somewhere where you can actually see and reach for them. My girls get a subscription to the Beano every month that they share so this is a pocket puzzle book. I don't know if I think it might have come with like a Christmas one or something or maybe I got it separately. There's a lot of puzzles in here they haven't done yet and I know if I move it to the top of the pile they're more likely to reach for it. As you can see everything's getting a bit crowded on the table here. These are normal watercolours but I might... Do you get rid of watercolours if they go mouldy? Because I feel like it happens quite easily because they're like you use water on it and then Maybe I haven't dried it out the best before putting the lid on it, so then mold forms on it. And I feel like that's not really the best idea to give my kids like moldy paints, even if I can get rid of it beforehand. But do other people hold on to them? Is there a way to like clean them and keep the mold away? And or would you just declutter it because of that? You can let me know what you think. These are some like really good high quality colouring pencils. I need to put them in the container with the other pens and let's see this is cross stitch like a little sample kit from my it was one of the kids ones um, my daughter actually is really good at sewing she actually doesn't really do cross stitch I think she doesn't have the patience to sit and figure it all out but she prefers to do her own version which I actually prefer because it looks like embroidery so I'm going to encourage her to do that soon and if she doesn't I'll get rid of it. This is one of those things that I never know what to do with. It's a leapfrog. I think I also have a sentimental attachment to them because my granny used to have leapfrogs like the game for us in her flat. It was like the only game that she had for us there and I really loved playing it when we stayed with her and then I feel like on some level if I get rid of it I'm kind of getting rid of her even though I don't even think the girls would notice if this was gone. But my daughter, if she sees it, she does play with it, but it's just that it's buried at the minute, so she doesn't. But it's also, I feel like it could be classed as like one of those like kind of crappy plastic toys that it's just not well made and it's just clutter. These are some oil pastels. I think I'm going to get rid of the extra ones because they're just rolling white and this set is full. And then this is plasticine. I know that eventually it will need to go out when it dries out, but it was used once, I think, by them. So they have made some little, like, a ladybird and little items with it, but they can still reuse it. So I'll hold on to that for them. This is a panda colouring book that my daughter likes because she loves pandas. A lot of this stuff, I think I just need to rotate it so they see it's actually there and think to use it. And then if they're not using it at all, I can then declutter it because I feel like they've been spending a lot of time over the summer and stuff outside with their friends and it's kind of taken away from time when they would have been doing art in the past. But now that the days are getting shorter and it's getting colder, they probably won't be outside as much and they will kind of turn to artistic things more. And then this is like a sketchbook that my daughter like decorated for ideas or whatever. I don't know if she's going to use it again though. 
It doesn't seem like there's many pages left in it. I might declutter it because of that. Someone's hair is in here, lovely. Bottom shelf is just a ruler, which can go in the pen holder. Stickers, which I know that the girls do use, so they just need to like use those up. We have their bracelet making set. Feathers. I don't know if I should keep these or not. You can let me know what you think. It does feel like one of those things that you hold on to and you do use it sometimes, but not all the time. So let me know what you think about that. This is just a little card that my mom made me and I've kept it because it has a nice message inside. I don't think we need this. It's like a test paper that my daughter's finished with. Um, these are key spellings. I think that's useful to have just for revision. Um, this is a fashion colouring book, which I know they love. And I also need to put it somewhere where I can see it. Um, and then this is another one. I have one each. Here is another Beano puzzle book. They also have one each. And this is a book that I love. It's basically like paint blotches and then you have to turn them into what you think they look like. But so these are supposed to look like cuddly creatures with fluffy fur. So you add details to turn them into that. And I like that kind of art because I just think it gets them into a good mindset for being creative themselves. And this is crossword challenges that my older daughter loves doing crosswords and word searches and things so I'm going to leave that for her to do. This can go upstairs because it's a storybook as is this and they can go with, with their books in their bedrooms. And then this is write your own storybook. I don't know how much they still use this. It's basically blank inside. I feel like it's wasteful to get rid of it when they haven't used it yet and maybe I should just encourage them during the colder months to do these activities and then look at it again in a few months and if they still haven't used it then at that point declutter it. This is really stressing me out, this is stupid but my daughter made last year made a bits box because her friend was making one for school and it's just like a little box that has things that make them happy in it and they bring it with them to school to cheer them up or whatever and Hers has sat here now for months and months and she hasn't looked at it once. But I feel sad getting rid of it. Like, it's just cute. And she's put like little teddies in it. Help me. <laughs> that is everything that's in the trolley and I clearly need to do some clearing away. It's actually so overfilled that this pencil case has fallen out of the back. Filled with like pens that my sister got from her birthday that we've all been using. And then there are also random artwork pieces that have got kind of crumpled because they've been they've fallen down the back so i'm gonna get rid of those so yeah that is everything that is in the trolley and i don't feel like this video probably has helped anybody to clear out because i'm kind of justifying holding on to things like this but I'm going to organise it so that we can see everything better and in a few months after Christmas probably I'm going to look at it again and see have we actually used the things and if not get rid of them because the amount of stuff is stressing me out and I hate that it always gets kind of disorderly but I think that that's because it's used for homework and art and then because it's beside the table and they're doing those things at the table as soon as the food is ready it's like okay dinner served get everything off the table quickly and it's just shoved in there it's kind of like the ironing board situation which i also need to take another look at and this is the trolley now i think it looks a lot better than it did um yeah thanks for watching and feel free to share any ideas or thoughts you have below and i'll see you soon bye